So let's look at the home purchase survey created with Pocket Survey. On the buildings list, I tap on a building and you'll see the front page photo and inspection status. And then below that, you've got some buttons. We can copy the building information. There's a button to create the PDF inspection report and want to open the generated PDF report. If we scroll down, you'll see which client this report belongs to. That is if you have multiple clients. You can turn off the clients feature in the app setup if you don't want to use it. The inspection details section shows the inspector, inspection date, inspection time, followed by some free format descriptive notes. The building details section shows more information about the building. Then there's a series of sections that make up your report. Introduction, about property, location, including a Google map of the property. Then there are sections for the main building components, such as outside, inside, services, and grounds, followed by legal issues, risks, overall opinion, and recommendations. Most of the report sections will be built from menus and tick lists that you can modify in the phrase design feature. Towards the end, you've got general building images such as floor plans, schematics, and any image you want to add to your report. If you want to make changes to the inspection, select the edit button. Let's scroll back to the top of the building record. To create your PDF report, choose the Create PDF Report button, and when the report is ready, select the Open PDF Report button. Let's look at the Phrase Editor feature. In the middle of the screen wire, we'll see the main sections of the report. Tap on a section to expand it, and you will see a list of building elements. Let's tap in one of these to see the phrase tick list available during the inspection. As you scroll down, you'll see Descriptions, Features, Defects, and Recommendations. If you want to view these as a long list, click the View button. You can tap in the middle to view and edit them, or tap the Add icon to add a new option. Let's add a new descriptions option to the tick list that appears when doing your assessment. Tap the Add icon, type in our new option, such as Asbestos column, tap Save and return to the previous screen, and then back to the App Setup screen. That's the Phrase Design feature. Don't be afraid of experimenting during your low cost trial. We're always on hand to give you help and support. Now, remember to get your low-cost trial if you're not already a Pocket Survey user, where you will get your first month's subscription at a vastly reduced price. Remember, there's no obligation to carry on your subscription after the trial month, and you've got access to the full software, including free training and support. If you don't like the software after that, that's no problem. Just let us know, and we won't bill you, and you can continue your search for a digital solution for your home purchase surveys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about any of our Pocket Survey apps, please visit our website pocketsurvey.com where you'll see lots of information about all our building and inspection software. So that's the Pocket Survey Home Purchase Surveying software in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Bye for now and see you soon.